Welcome to the France 24 Observers. The Observers is a news show with a difference. All of the content, the photos, the information, it comes from people who are not journalists. They simply find themselves in the right place at the right time. And sometimes the wrong place at the wrong time. We begin with an update on a story we brought you last week, the massacre of civilians who had gathered to protest against a military coup. We go back to Guinea, West Africa, with our observer Lamine Lama. Details are still emerging of the September 12th massacre at Conakry's football stadium. More than 150 people are believed to have died. Pictures taken on portable phones show that women were singled out. If they weren't shot, they were beaten, stripped and raped. Lamine Lamar saw it happening. In the chaos, people were running for their lives. I was near the stadium exit when I saw a woman. She was being stripped by a group of soldiers. A little further on, I saw two more women. They had been stripped completely naked. I tell you, it was horrible. But there was nothing I could do. I had no choice. I had to save myself. It's inhuman to attack a woman that way. Inhuman. Even now, I find it difficult to talk about what I saw. It was devastating, horrible. The coup leader who's running Guinea says he knows nothing about the rapes, but other witnesses saw the same thing, and their portable phones provide the proof. Now we go to Tel Aviv, Israel, with our observer, Shelley Fiedemann. Beach mats by the seashore, there's nothing shocking about that, except they're in Israel, and they're a reference to the wall built further inland in the West Bank to keep Palestinian bombers away from Israeli civilians. Its critics call it a wall of shame. Shelley hopes her beach mats will make people think. So I put it in front of the beach and I offered people to rent uh, like a surfboard. Then I asked for people to bring me their ID card. You had to have an Israeli ID card actually to rent it. I mean, there were people who got very upset and people who laughed. And so I was trying to create uh, something, an, a disturbing image and to disturb the, the fun of the summer, I would say, and to make people feel uncomfortable with the way they uh, avoid or don't think or don't do anything about the war. Shelley's piece has had a mixed reaction on the Observer's website. Here's what Tarek Keskes had to say. Yes, go ahead and make people think, but don't do it in a way that trivializes the suffering of a people in the eyes of their tormentors. Next, we have a Chinese take on one of the world's most popular shopping destinations, IKEA. We go to Shanghai with our observer, Du Xiaodong. The Chinese love IKEA, but not necessarily for the furniture. They go there to nap, or perhaps to chat on a clip and sofa, to get some reading done, or spend some quality time with their girlfriend. It's a sort of weekend getaway, and IKEA's Chinese fans feel right at home in the megastore. Du Xiaodong goes to the Shanghai store from time to time. Uh, a sofa in IKEA costs about 3,000 to 4,000 renminbi, that is uh, 300 to 400 euro. That's the same amount of average, uh, average salary for, for someone in Beijing or Shanghai. So I think that's the reason why most people go there to do window shopping, hang around and enjoy the, the environment there rather than real shopping. Our next observer is a fan of Brazilian samba, something that doesn't go down well with everyone in her country. We go to Tyre in Lebanon with Darin Saba. Samba fever came to Lebanon last month. The Ministry of Tourism invited a Brazilian group to put on shows in Beirut, Zal and Batroun. Hot and very sexy shows. The dancers were supposed to perform in Tyre as well but the city's Muslim leaders put their foot down and they had the show cancelled. Darin Sabag saw the performance in Beirut. Muslim leaders defend their traditions and you have to respect that even if you don't agree. But cancelling the show was bad for Lebanon's image. Once again, my country is being associated with extremism and intolerance. That's it for this week. You can go to our website to find out how you can become an observer. 
You can help us cover the news through your eyes.